Hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to quickly go through the basics of the logbook functions here on the Isaac tablet. As always, I've got my test tablet kind of off to the side here, but I'm screen sharing. Um, hopefully everything comes through clearly. Uh, we'll get into it. So from my main dashboard, which is what this is, which is what you'll see typically when you're parked, uh, if I pop down to the logbook option here on the left hand side, it'll bring up my logbook for the day. Again, we're going to go over some basics. There's another whole video specifically on editing. Uh, you can watch that later. So on the tablet, uh, generally speaking, you can see me, uh, William Eason. I'm the primary driver. I've got my Isaac One test truck, and I have hooked trailer T8. I am active on a trip. So if you're not active, you'll see no active trip up here. Currently, I'm, I, I'm on my Canada south of 60, a 70 and 7 day cycle. That would be the cycle we would expect uh, basically every driver to run. The 14120 is available as well, but typically offers fewer options for drivers. Um, as we move through this, you can see for today, I have 13 hours of driving time, 14 hours of shift, uh, and a full 70 hours in my cycle. That's because I've been off duty for the last couple of days. Uh, shift reset, once you put yourself on duty, it will tell you when a shift or a cycle reset is required and then when your next scheduled day off is going to be. So for me, it's in 13 days because I've got my full 14 available, not including today. If I pop down here at the bottom, uh, one of the things that I would recommend, uh, although again, it is totally a personal preference, uh, I typically leave my sleeper birth provision turned on. Um, just tap the button to slide it over and then you'll see the little SB option pops up here next to your 14 uh, hours of shift time. That really is the basics of the main logbook screen. Uh, if you get pulled into a roadside, uh, which Jamie's going to talk about how to get into the roadside mode here in a few minutes in a different video, um, or if a compliance officer just wants to see it or you need to see it, you can tap on the header button at the bottom. The header really is the, I'll say the... Um, top section of the old log screen. This is where you could, if you needed to manually enter a document number or a shipper, shipping reference number uh, for your log, you can enter it here. Uh, if you're on an active workflow, the trip number shows up here. Driving distance, personal distance, start and total distance for the day, vehicles, license plate equipment. Uh, let me just scroll up a little bit. So the carrier's home terminal for me, it's here in Kenfield, 1505 Harrington. Um, the general stuff is there. If I hit my back button down here, it takes me back to my log screen or my graph screen, I should say. The next piece we're going to look at is the history tab. If I tap on history, we end up showing the last 14 days. Now I talk about it in the editing video. We'll talk a little more about it here. For each of the last 14 days, we can see a total number of off-duty, sleeper birth, driving, and on-duty hours. We can also see um, that it's signed. So big green check mark means it's been signed. Uh, no check mark such as it is for today. Today is the 16th of September. Uh, I have not signed my log because my day's not over. If you've been off duty for several days, uh, you can hit this approve all button down here at the bottom. Uh, I talk about it in the log editing uh, again, I'll mention it here. The only downside to hitting the approve all is that it will approve all of your logs, including today. And then for the rest of the day, inevitably, you'll probably get warnings that you're making changes to a log that's already been signed. Personally, I recommend tapping on each of the individual days. Let's just say I needed to sign the 15th. You can tap on that. Now, because I've signed it, it's not illuminated, but the sign button down here would be lit up. You can tap that. You can move on. Once you're into kind of this uh, summary screen, you can use the arrows to move back and forth through the days. I'm going to go back a couple of days so we can see some activity. Uh, you can see here Kenful sleeper, delivery and inspection, dropping, hooking. It was all done um, by me running a bunch of test scenarios through. When you're actually in your truck, your distance, your locations, all that sort of stuff will be filled in because it's receiving data from the, uh, the Wi-Fi router and your truck. If you need to edit, you can tap on this button. Again, there's a completely separate video that deals with logbook editing. You can watch that at a later time. If I tap my back button, it will take me back to my 14 day history screen. Again, I can improve all or not. I'll go back one more time. 
uh, sorry, we'll go back into history for just one second. The other nice part about the Isaacs tablet is it does give you this recap hours function. So if I tap on recap, very slowly it brings it up. Um, it will describe your current operating zone, the regulation, and then your hours available in your shift, your cycle, and your total drive time. Uh, again, this is probably not the best option because I've had a full reset over the last couple of days, but it gives you the last several days summary and then hours available since your cycle, uh, hours work today, hours available at the start of day tomorrow, hours available at the start of day after tomorrow. So you can see those uh, hours that you'll be gaining back as you move through. If I tap on this HOS settings button, it does give you a bit of a configuration to how to set your daily log. So operating zone, I'm in Canada, I'm south of 60. Um, we don't operate in north of 60, you can't run that hours. Uh, your logbook will choose your default hours of service based on where you're at. So once you cross the border, um, it will auto switch your logs for you. The Canada Cycle 2, uh, sorry, I should say, it will give you a little indication of what each of the available cycles does. So cycle, work shift, uh, you can scroll down, and then day. It gives you really a nice little view of what the rule set looks like. If I choose cycle 2, which is the 14120, I get a slightly different description because the hours of service rules change. I'll put myself back on my cycle 170 and 7, and I'm going to hit the cancel button. If you needed to make um, a hard change, you would hit the confirm button and go back and take a look at your logs. I'm going to cancel out. From there, I will circle back to my main screen. And in all honesty, that gives you a really decent overview of how uh, the whole hours of service piece comes together on your Isaacs handheld. Just like we say at the end of every video, obviously, if you have questions, if you've got concerns, things you want to know more about, uh, please feel free to come in and see us, uh, specifically the fine folks in safety and compliance. With that, I'll sign off. All the best, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.